The coronavirus isn't making a comeback in the U.S. It never left. That's the message from health officials who say the Delta variant and a lack of vaccinations are allowing the potentially deadly disease to keep spreading nationwide. And today, the U.S. Surgeon General accusing tech companies of not doing enough to fight misinformation about COVID-19. There have been some positive steps taken by these technology companies. Some of them have worked uh, to try to up, you know, up promote accurate sources like the CDC and, and, and other medical sources. Others have tried to reduce uh, the prevalence of false uh, res uh, sources in search results. But what I've also said to them publicly and privately is that it's not enough, that we are still seeing a proliferation of misinformation online. And we know that health misinformation harms people's health. It costs them their lives. Among states seeing a spike in new cases, Florida. In its latest report, the Department of Health said new COVID-19 cases nearly doubled over the last week, up to more than 45,000 from almost 24,000 the week before. And the top four counties with the most positive cases per capita are all in northeast Florida. Baker County has 50 excuse me, 505.8 cases per 100,000 people. Nassau, 499.2, Duval, 441.9, and Bradford County, 408.2 cases per 100,000 people. Many of these new cases coming as vaccination lag in certain areas. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live from one of those counties, Nassau County. Marilyn, good evening. Good evening, Scott. Yes, Baker and Nassau County have the highest number of new infections per 100,000 people. Now, that's of any county in the state. After speaking with a few people here in Nassau, some say they just haven't stopped taking those precautions, while others say they aren't too concerned. The number of people getting a COVID-19 shot in Florida has dropped roughly 80% since its peak in April this week, Nassau County officials were getting the word out on Facebook about upcoming vaccination opportunities, reminding people it's widely available as COVID-19 spreads rapidly in the area. In Nassau County, only 50% of the age 12 and up population has at least one dose of the vaccine. Meanwhile, look at how the number of people testing positive for COVID-19 has grown there over the past month. The week of June 18th, 87 people tested positive. It's now grown to 445 people in the last week, double the week before. We asked people on a News 4 Nassau Facebook post if they'll go back to wearing masks in public. Most of the responses were no. Some businesses in Nassau County are flexible about customers wearing masks. One person told us they've never stopped wearing masks because of the risk. Doctors remind us that vaccines are the best way to prevent hospitalizations and death. We have county by county COVID-19 information available right now for your review on newsforjacks.com. We're live in Nassau County, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.